Hello, beautiful. She did like an accent. Hello, beautiful. <laughs> You look in tip top shape. Today, we're watching some people do to themselves, actually, mermaid hair color. I like it, but like mermaid hair color has no definition and it could be whatever you think it is, I guess. We're gonna see a lot of different variations of mermaid hair color today. It is not easy to do just because there's so many colors involved all in one head and you have to blend the colors and it just becomes a total mess really quickly. And if the colors blend too much, it creates a muddy color and then it's just ugly as hell. So good luck to the girls today and let's see how they do with giving themselves mermaid hair color. Let's do it. <sighs> First up, we have a girl named Bean Shanin. <laughs> uh, this is called DIY mermaid hair. Let's talk. The twisted beanstalk. Oh. Yeah, no, totally. Let's watch the video. So I'm gonna do my hair. Are those real tattoos? They are. Sorry, this has nothing to do with her hair, but that looks like a tattoo shirt. And your hair is looking slightly compromised, I must say. Oh my God. Bean Shanine, what is going on with this hair? What's going on with my hair actually is the real question today. This is bed head. I really like this one. This one's like, super pink. There's this one, which is like amazing. So I like putting a couple of them together. I think what we need to do, what I hope is going to happen is a haircut is going to happen at the end of this. Being Shanine, it is looking a little dry, a little bit of damage in there. Okay, so I got the bed head. I got the neon pink. Ooh, neon. This is the first color that I started with. Is she gonna do her roots first? Oh, we're gonna have to bleach it two times to get it like really bleached and you're just like what the f can you just bleach my hair just kill it i'm giving you permission to just 40 volume it and kill the <laughs> out of my hair i want you as a client just kill the out of my hair use 40 volume and just burn it i do agree with her you could get that light in one process you don't need to do it twice i think her hairstylist tells her she needs to do it twice putting bleach on somebody's scalp twice in one day is dangerous and that is when you get all kinds of burns and it's not a good idea. Okay, so let me just brush out my hair. Girl, if that's even possible. Gosh, I should just shave my head right now. Oh my god. No! I have a total rat's nest at the end. Ooh! Whoop, whoop, whoop. The way she just brushed that hair out was the most stressful thing I've ever seen in my life. Come on, give your hair some love. Please, just stop being so mean to it. It didn't do anything to you. It's looking very mixed and very pink bubblegum looking. But my hair's so dead, so I was like, man, I need to just grow it out and then start again. So she's using 40 volume and bleach, and she is starting right at the most fragile part of the hair, which is right on the hairline. Let's not do that. Let's start in the back and work our way forward because otherwise your hair in the front is going to process for way too long and snap off. This is worrisome how this application method is going. If she also overlaps on any of this pink hair, it is going to sizzle and burn and crumble to the floor. <laughs> Stop doing that with the lighteners. Stop moving it around with your hand over the pink part. These roots are like two inches long. Therefore, you know, you're probably gonna get some banding. Because your roots have heat from your scalp, it's gonna process that one inch of hair really nicely. And then anything that doesn't reach the scalp is not gonna process as nicely or get as light. So you might have some like yellow banding going around. In this case, I would have done like a 30 volume in that little mid section and then maybe 20 volume on the root section after. That way everything lightens the same. She's not doing that. And we're just going in with 40 volume and saying Fuck it, so. <laughs> Great. <laughs> She's still going at it with this bleach. It's never gonna end. Guys, I've been fast forwarding through and she's just been going at it with this lightener. Like we're watching the entire process. Then we snuck into another bar. I seem to remember that part. It was in a hotel. <laughs> she's telling her life story. <laughs> Bean Shanine, that would be your name too. <laughs> Emma Bell. <laughs> Emma was a YouTuber, it'd be ESAP. If I was a rapper, Sapper the rapper. Oh! She's making her way around the head. It's not the worst job. She's definitely sectioning out very nicely. So happy with that. It could turn out good just because her hair is on the finer side. She might get that heat from her scalp all over everything. I'm optimistic, but the front section is definitely lightening up very fast. And I'm a little worried about that sitting on there for way too long because she hasn't even started the back of her head. But at this point, who the f cares? She said, if my hair burns off, I don't care. Burn it off. Whoa. Oh. Okay, she put that bag on, she waited 20 minutes, and it looks decent. It's not really light, 
It's definitely a little yellow, but it's a good palette to work with to now lay over the other colors on top. And she's doing like a very dark pink. It should work out. Everything should be okay, I think. Um... Let's see. I'm gonna put this long lasting neon in it. Ooh, we're doing neon pink. We're doing all sorts of shit. I feel like colors like this don't really have any kind of base to them. So that's why I put a couple colors together. Okay, I don't know what that means. When I put this blue on, I really don't want green hair. So I'm a little bit, ooh. That is true, you guys. Blue and yellow make green. So she puts it on her roots that are yellow, it's gonna turn green. Okay, so she ends up going in with the blue, even though we just talked about the yellow on her head. She doesn't give a f okay? I understand at this point. That is the tricky part of these kinds of colors, is getting the darkest color onto the roots and not getting it anywhere else. And especially when you're using your hands and the color straight out of the tube, it becomes a little bit difficult. Maybe next time a brush, she's over it. We're just gonna make these ends all different colors. It's starting to look better than what she started with. Um, and she's looking a lot more fun. And we're doing the entire ends pink. We do have to be careful though, wrapping up the hair like that, it might blend with the blue and there might be pink on the roots, blue on the ends. So I wouldn't recommend doing that. I would just lay the hair down flat. But Miss Bean doesn't care. And I'm gonna come back on and show you the results, I know. Bean, show us what's going on, I'm excited. I'm rooting for you. Oh! Um, so here's the blue and the pink. Okay, so here's the top. Awesome, right? I really like it. I really, really like it. It has more purple back there. I love this part, but unfortunately it's gonna run out really quick. Blue always disappears so fast. I love how it transitions into other colors, but I do wear my hair up a lot and it's just really blue. It's a fun look. I think it could definitely be done a little bit better next time. I know you agree with me. There's easy ways you can adjust this to make it look better next time. Like say taking the front pieces out and just coloring those pink. That way you have like a nice pink streak in the front, which would add a little more dimension. That way when you put your hair back, you have a little pink in the front and a little blue. To make your ends not turn purple like that next time, you can put a little conditioner on them and then put the pink over them. So the conditioner dilutes the formula a little bit on the ends that are already pink that way they don't get too dark and usually the ends of hair are really porous so you want to put a lighter color on them because it will show up darker when it's processed those are just a few things you could do just to change it up i know you don't give a f and I love you for that. And you look amazing no matter what. Thank you for sharing that video with us. Next up, we have a video by Brie Benfold. And this is called Hair Color Tutorial Peacock Mermaid Joy Co Color Intensity Fabulous Life of Miss P. Ooh, I want to know about the fabulous life of Miss P. It is time for a color refresh. Oh, yes, it is. It faded a little bit again when I shampooed just now. So I will obviously like really really touch up the lightened bits and touch a little bit on the stuff underneath we are starting with a smorgasbord a smorgasbord smorgasbord Smorgasburg? Is that what it is? Smorgasburg? Smorgasburg. That's like that. Smorgasburg. Wait, Who? That's... What language is that? That's the language of the food festival in New York City. <laughs> no, but there's a lane. I think that's like German. Oh, yeah, probably. Smorgasburg. Smorgasburg. Smorg. Can we find out? So she has a smorgasburg of all <laughs> kinds of colors going on. And I wonder, like, is she doing the same thing? I think she is because if she mixes any other colors on top of what she has now, it'll make it all muddy and nasty. Oh, so. Sh it's Swedish. Swedish. My Swedish Swedes out there. Smorgasbord. 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 I think I nailed it. <laughs> so now I've just gone ahead and sectioned off this front bit here. I guess my bangs, if you will. What are we doing with those? Through and do an indigo shadow root. Ooh. But Fun want super dark right in the front. I want something a little bit lighter. So I've just sectioned this bit out and I am going to go through it with my orchid. I'm just gonna go like root to tip with it. I'm not gonna fade it into anything. This is exactly what I just told the last girl to do. Bit in the front in my bangs. I was like, do the front all one color because it'll look dope. I like this girl. She has a plan. She knows what she's doing. So we're going in through with uh, the indigo color now and she's topping all those roots. She 
she's making them super bright and fantastic and now she's moving on to the next process this section the indigo is in so now I'm just going to go through just kind of blend out into the other color I'm going to use basically the little bit of color that's left in here as my guide as to what color I had previously. Yo, she is putting in the work and effort. She's gonna go on top of the faded colors with the same color that was there before, which is a great idea. Like I said before, it'll turn muddy if she does not do that. Oh, and she's going section by section. I love to see it. This is like everything I wanted today. <laughs> this is not as easy as the last time I did it. There's nothing easy about this. It's doable. I'm not having any difficulty. It's just taking more time. You can see the purple to green. I do have to say one thing though, please use more color next time. Your hair looks a little dry and that color is just gonna get sucked into your hair cuticle. We're going on to the other side. If she's doing it, it looks clean, it looks fresh. I am done. I didn't film doing any of the back. Oh, she did the blue in the back. Blue to purple on the very tips, on the ends. So we got a lot of colors going on here. Woo. So we'll see how that all goes. I didn't intend for there to be as much purple. I cannot wait to see the result. This is how it turned out and oh! I feel like a pretty little peacock. Oh my god. It looks so good. The blue and purples. Wow, what a transformation. Here's the purple and green and obviously I've got some of it flipped over because I've got a side part and I really actually love how the back turned out with all of that blue and stuff in there. Dude, she did such a good job. The placement was flawless. The execution was flawless. She didn't miss any spots. I love that little purple bang she did in the front. You killed it, Ms. P. A plus. Plus 10 out of 10, rocked it. Okay, next up we have Jessica Godinez. This is blue green ombre mermaid hair, rainbow head. Jessica Godinez, great. And she's screaming at me with these caps. I know my hair is a hot mess right now. You said it not. I woke up and so because I wanted to look decent for you, I put on brows, cheek tint, and a little bit of- You look divine. Like a little snacky poop. Red to gray. And if you want to check that video, I will put the link. From red to gray. That sounds difficult. Lilac to rose gold silver, which was kind of cute. But now it's just not nice to look at anymore. Again, you said it, not me. I'll be making four sections. So oh, the word sections is like the sexiest word to me. Like, like yes. Green ivy, manic panic rockabilly. Ooh. A solid plan on what to do with my hair. Great. I'm gonna wing this, and then you be the judge if it's a fail or a win after the video. Okay, I will judge it if it's a fail. I will make sure. So she said she is going to do green on the roots and blue towards the mids, and I don't know what on the ends. I'm a little worried it's gonna turn out mucky because she already has that like pink tone on it, and I don't know how well is this blue is gonna work out, or is it green? What is this color? <laughs> I would say it's turquoise. Let's go with that. And she is using very, 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 very little amount of color, which also I don't like. Like, come on. Put the color on there, lay it down, smush it in, give it to me. Uh, I need more because that is not gonna be enough to cover everything. It's like dry already. Give it to me, girl. Don't be stingy. So she's using rockabilly blue, that's what it's called, uh, and some other kind of blue. And she is diluting it with conditioner and she is going all on those ends. And that is a really blue color. But I think this is gonna be perfect to go over what she already had because what she already had is a little bit, you know, all over the place. Oh, she's just doing the back blue. I love this. Okay, and now we're doing something else on the front part of her ends. And her roots are turned out very, very, very green. I've also put my hair in a bun. There's a little bit of ombre go ombre. Ombre. Oh my god. It starts with green and then it kind of fades. In Why is this gorgeous? I feel like she didn't even try. Wait, what? What happened? Her hair is so pretty. That was so quick. What? I don't even know. She looks like a guy tang model right now. Her hair is so glossy and vibrant and so pretty. That just changed up her look so much for the better. I am obsessed. I don't even know what happened there. It ended up being amazing. Great job. Ooh, okay, well, um, those were very cute. I appreciate the effort. Me trying to like compliment. <laughs> 
Actually, the second girl, I think, was like, it was flawlessly executed. It was beautiful. The other two, you know, we could just use a little bit more of a concept before we start. Otherwise, pretty decent for an at-home color job. Make sure you guys subscribe down below if you're not already subscribed and click the bell icon and the like if you would like. Um, that'd be nice for me. Also, follow me everywhere else. These are all my social media handles, so go for it. Make sure you guys text me at this number right below. Yes, this is my real number. Yes, I can really text you back. And yes, I do so all your messages. And I will be choosing a few of you to text back. Make sure you follow Xmodo Hair on Instagram at Xmodo Hair or check us out on our website down below at xmodohair.com. Check out all the beautiful, fabulous, amazing products we have to offer. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Re, and she says, this is my natural hair color. I've been wanting to do something different basically. And um, she's asking, should she chop it? Should she do some balayage highlights or a light brown color? She's not sure. And she wants to know what I think. Re, 100% chop it. Do like either shoulder length or a little bit shorter than that. I think it'll look so, so good and make your hair look even fuller and thicker. It'll be amazing, I promise. Other than that, oh my God. I mean, your natural hair color is beautiful. I understand why everybody says not to color it. But if you really want to do something, I would definitely do highlights and a nice face framing highlight moment. That way you have a nice impactful piece in the front and you feel like you look actually different and it's not all just sitting down here below. Do a nice bright piece in the front. It'll give you a little bit of a different look, but it'll still have that beautiful natural hair color that is yours. If you end up doing it, let me know. I would love to see a photo of it and good luck. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.